Good afternoon. It is Wednesday and I am leaving my house just during my lunch break. And right now I am heading over to Edible Arrangements because I finally received my necklace that I ordered for the woman that helped me and I want to ship it out along with some delicious chocolate covered strawberries. <clears throat> I figured it would make sense to bring it there and have them deliver it along with it. Um, something I'm actually not aware of is what the cost of delivery might be, especially because where the school is located, it is about 45 minutes away from the city, maybe closer to an hour also. So I really hope they're not gonna charge me something ridiculous for shipping because chocolate covered strawberries from them by itself, I think is 30 fucking dollars. So anyways, I am doing that. And I also decided that I might as well send Shane some for his birthday as well, because when I was talking about it with him, he said that it was just something he has never received before, which doesn't seem out of the ordinary because I've never received it before either. I feel like receiving an edible arrangement is not a common thing. So even though he hasn't, I was just like, you know what, let's send him some for his birthday also. So basically doing two birds with one stone. Um, today is a wonderful day because VP played this morning and I was able to watch two out of the three games and they won. So I am super happy about that. It was very scary because they lost the first game and then in the second game they were definitely down for a large portion of the game. Well, it was a very tough comeback, but they managed to make it work. So I kind of put the stream on when I was at work. By the time the third game was about to start, it was already 11 o'clock, so I had to go into work. But I put the stream on and I decided to kind of listen to it and that was how I kept track and was very happy to hear that they won. So they are in the top six and they will be playing in two days. I think there is a one day break tomorrow. There won't be any matches. I also got my flight home with Riley organized. There's still something that I want to clear up with them because from what I can tell, I don't think Delta is reserving a seat for Riley, which I was a little surprised about because for both of my flights, I did United Airlines and then I did WestJet. So both of those, they automatically booked a seat for her for me. They reserved it and I didn't have to ask for it. And I figured Delta would do the same thing, but they're not. So I don't think that it would be comfortable or ideal for me and her to both be in one seat because even though she's going to be underneath the seat, um, I still think it'll be kind of miserable for her because she won't be able to stand up and walk around because if I'm sitting there, my feet are going to be in the way and she's going to be forced to stay underneath the whole time. And I just don't think it's going to be fun for her. It won't be ideal. So I emailed them to ask, is there any way you guys could possibly reserve a seat? Because she is 40 pounds and I don't know if that was something they didn't really keep track of or pay attention to, but it would just be so much more comfortable for either of us if we had. Oh man, do I have to pay? Fucking parking. That didn't go as planned. So, uh, I was optimistic and thinking that they would drive all the way out there. So they said they don't deliver to Pine Valley. So that sucks. I wonder how I'm gonna manage this because if I were to drive out there myself, uh, I would have to go during a time when the school is open, which is when I'm at work. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I guess if I don't wanna send an edible arrangement, I could just send the necklace and my letter in a package by myself and that would work out fine without me needing to drive over. But yeah, I don't know if I will still decide to do edible arrangement or not. It was just a nice idea, but maybe just the necklace is good enough. But I did decide to still uh, send Shane a box of chocolate covered strawberries 
But what sucks is that they are sending it from the store closer to his house. So I have a card and I have a letter that I can't give it to them because they're not even the ones shipping it. So I might still end up needing to drive to his house and putting it in his mailbox myself. I actually, I wanted to kind of sample and see what the heck their stuff tastes like. I know it's just fruit covered and stuff, but the guy was nice enough to give me a chocolate covered strawberry for free. <laughs> so I'm going to sample this. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Now oh, my fingers are sticky. I hate that. Now I have to go back to work. I have to stay at work until like seven o'clock because I went in so late. <laughs> so, a few things. First off, super fucking random today. I actually got a phone call from Blizzard's attorney. So apparently, <clears throat> they wanted me to take down my Blizzard interview video that I uploaded over a year ago, one and a half years ago, because that was when I went to interview with them. And basically in my video, I detailed everything as much as possible. I put up actual questions, I screenshotted them while I was doing the interview and stuff. I just put everything that I remembered into that video and basically the attorney said that it broke the NDA and he asked me if I could take it down. I just didn't want to deal with it, I guess. I didn't feel like countering it or putting any of my effort into something like this so I was just like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll take this video down. This video is actually one that has a fair amount of views on it. It has about 11,000 views, so it is a pretty good video to get views and whatever tiny little income I get from YouTube, but whatever, I will put it on private because I don't want to completely delete it and make those freaking people happy. Also, something else that people might find interesting is that I learned that starting tomorrow for three days, Blizzard is allowing people to play World of Warcraft for free again for another free WoW weekend. So I was talking to Shane. I've been talking to Shane a lot about the lore and telling him about new discoveries. So for example, for me, I never knew anything about Lordaeron. So when I was reading in the book that Lothar and Cadbar went to Lordaeron, to speak to the king, to get help, to fight against the horde, and to gather everybody up. I didn't know Lordaeron at all. I was very surprised about it. I didn't know that Arthas was the prince of Lordaeron, so we were just talking about stuff, and he said that Wrath of the Lich King was his most favorite time to quest because a lot of the quests provided backstory on Lich King and Arthas and stuff. So he was saying randomly that I should go level there again because what I forgot is that I tend to think that all of the old questing got fucked over by Cataclysm, but that is just all the original places like Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms, which is very sad because I would totally love to quest an Elwyn Forest or a Westfall again without it being different. But at least for Wrath of the Lich King, Oh, this is hard to talk, and I need to turn off my heater, fuck. Let me go turn off my heater first real quick. Oh, okay. It's, my freaking house takes a while for the heat to switch to AC, so I still feel a little hot air, which kind of sucks. Shane was, that, Shane was randomly recommending that I go back to the Wrath of the Lich King questing area, Northrend, <coughs> and quest there again, which I don't think is a bad idea at all, because I'd say I am mainly reluctant to quest anywhere new, anywhere past Cataclysm. Cataclysm is basically when the game started being shit for me, so anything past that I don't care for, but Burning Crusade, Outlands, I would love to quest there again, and Wrath of the Lich King. So, since there is this free WoW weekend, 
I am actually very excited to go quest in Northrend. And I was actually looking through my character selection screen and I realized that my hunter is level 70. So she is the perfect level to go to Northrend and honestly, I actually think she's in the Hydral Fjord area. I know there's two zones you start out in and I just remember that she has been parked in one of those zones for ages and I guess that would be the perfect way to level because I kind of wanted to have a character that was the right level because I don't want to just breeze past quests, I want it to actually be reasonably challenging so the right level was kind of important for that. I guess it's also appropriate that for a nostalgic playing experience I would play my very first max level character. So basically my history is I started playing by myself on a PvE server and the server was Anvilmar and I made a mage called Frost Angel or something like that. So she is my very very first character ever. I got her to level 43-ish and then my brother expressed interest in playing so when he decided to hop in the World of Warcraft bandwagon he suggested that we play on a PvP server and he selected Burning Legion. So that is how I ended up on Burning Legion because I ended up recreating a new character, a hunter on Burning Legion, which I maxed her out first. And it is a Night Elf Hunter. Honestly, after reading, I want to play a mage actually. I have a mage at level 80. Yes, I think level 80 or maybe even higher, I don't remember. But basically, she, I quested in Northrend on my mage, 100%. So I wouldn't be able to do it on her, which sucks, because that is definitely the class I would like to do it at. But I'm pretty excited about this, because it doesn't, it's not gonna feel sour for me, because I'm not gonna be thinking about this new garbage in Battle for Azeroth. I'm gonna be playing old content, content I'm very fond of, so. I believe the free time starts on the 21st and then it goes to the 24th. Before I decided to spin, I ate dinner, I ate some cantaloupe, and I wanted to give myself some time to digest, so I played a game of auto chess. And it was a good game because I won first and I was just thinking, damn, what a great way to segue into exercising, winning first. So here I am with first place energy. And I can't believe I'm still talking because this is tiring, so I will stop and let's see. Oh, I've been 12 minutes in, so that's working hard. But I have on the third game of VP versus EG from this morning, which I know the result of, I know that VP wins, but the main reason I wanted to put it on is because I wasn't able to watch it this morning because I had to go to work. Unfortunately, tomorrow I have to take Riley to the vet, which you guys know I hate going there. And it was really sudden because I have auto delivery for her heartworm medication and flea and tick. And I got an email that said her heartworm subscription or prescription, more like, ran out. So I need to bring her there and she needs to get a heartworm test and then they will give me this prescription over again, which there's no way to avoid that. And I asked them about heartworm and they said that there are mosquitoes around here that can bite them and transmit something dangerous, deadly, or whatever. So that's the main reason I've had her on it because they would make it sound like it's mandatory. I was really hoping that I didn't need to take her in at all this year because I brought her in a month before I traveled last year, which was in August. So I was just hoping that that would be enough to last at least a year or a little bit more, but I didn't realize that this heartworm thing would actually run out like this. I just decided to do it this week because I've talked about it many times how I get anxiety about going to the vet because I hate going there. And I think if I delayed it much longer, then it would kind of bother me, linger in my mind a bit about what is going to come up. So I figured I would try to get it out of the way 
as soon as possible this week. Oh, that's enough talking for now. Let me focus on my spin. Now, I was able to step up the aggression a little bit to pull and 